Man, it seems like since I got back, I'm just in this perpetual state of playing catch up. Last night, quite literally a few minutes before yesterday's video that was scheduled for the entire day went out, there was some big news that came out. Warzone 2. Now that sounds really weird to say, but in all actuality, it's real and it's looming on the horizon. Today we're going to be going into and explaining what Warzone 2 is, what the timetable is for this, and what it means for Warzone as we know it, and the expectations I have to see things coming along with this Warzone 2. So that said, as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of it? Do you think this Warzone 2 answers a lot of the questions we've had for Warzone's future for quite some time now? Do you think it's the right move? Do you think it's something that will change a lot of the course of what's to come? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. If you are new to the channel, do be sure to subscribe button Stay there with all things Warzone, Vanguard, and anything COD related. Modern Warfare 2 looking like that COD coming out later this year, so we'll have some content here coming up on the channel whenever that breaks. But if you're a part of that nearly 7% of viewers that are not subscribed and you'd like to help us out on the road to half a million subscribers, I'd love to have you in the community. That said, let's set the stage here. The other day it was reported that Microsoft was in the acquisition process of Activision Blizzard. That means that at that time, in an undisclosed amount of time, Activision would be fully owned by Microsoft, meaning that every single title they had, every IP, from those first games like Boxing, Chopper Command, Stampede, River Raid, and all that on the Atari back in 1980, all the way up to Guitar Hero in the Tony Hawk series, to more obscure games perhaps like Blur, Singularity, the Transformers games, and of course, Call of Duty. They would own everything in that catalog. That would belong to Microsoft and Xbox. Now that news broke about a week ago at this point, and it was something that made waves in the entire community, not just ours, but the gaming scene as a whole, and even in the air quote, real world, if you want to call it that, as legislators in the US government even took notice of this and will likely be heavily scrutinizing the deal to make sure that it doesn't go into monopoly territory. But the big question was, well, what happens to Sony and PlayStation users once this deal goes through? There was tons of speculation of not seeing PlayStation be supported anymore, that Call of Duty could go Xbox exclusive, which technically they could, though I don't personally believe they will. I feel like there's much more profit in taking royalties off your competitors that are using your IP compared to maybe those that will jump ship and buy an Xbox solely for COD, or at least that's how I see it. But the future had plenty of questions. Now, Phil Spencer, head of Xbox, went on record saying that he had good talks with Sony, and then it came out that they intend to honor all existing agreements between Sony and Activision in regards to Call of Duty and the franchise there. And that's where we pick up. Yesterday, Jason Schreier, writing for Bloomberg, first broke the story in which he followed up the massive news of the acquisition by saying the next three games are covered under the Sony and Activision deal. Tweeting, Activision is committed to releasing at least the next three Call of Duty games on PlayStation, even after the Xbox acquisition, according to people familiar with the deal. That's COD 2022, COD 2023, and Warzone 2 in 2023. After that, it's hazier. Now, the hazier part, of course, being that, well, I guess Microsoft could go exclusive with it, but that future is still a very big question mark. But for the immediate future of COD, Sony's not going anywhere in regards to support or the small minor exclusives, like maybe exclusive blueprints or something like that, XP events happening a little early on, until at least until post-2023. But while that in and of itself is a relatively important piece of information, Warzone 2 is a massive bombshell. So what's this mean? Warzone 2. Well, as for the timing of release, Jason Schreier said that it was in 2023. I've heard a lot of rumors, a lot of people talking about how they think this is going to be happening in conjunction with or right around the time of Treyarch's next title in 2023. If you ask me, that doesn't make much sense. To me, I personally think this is actually going to be sooner rather than later, in which we could see this as of next spring in 2023. If you were to say follow the spring, that anniversary of Warzone after the Treyarch game, that puts it into 2024 territory. But Jason Schreier ended up saying that's not the case. But if you end up launching a free-to-play game plus a premium paid game, that doesn't make much sense. You end up hurting the player counts of everything involved there, cutting into revenues. And that's something that if, again, no Activision, they don't quite like to do. So I'd expect it around the anniversary of Warzone next spring with Modern Warfare 2. But what does this then mean for what we can expect? That's where Tom Henderson, Industry Insider, comes into play. He tweeted, Warzone 2 is literally that, Warzone 2. Current gen and PC only, no past weapon integrations, etc. A completely new game for the better hardware. Now, that's something that we've been kind of talking about is what is needed overall, its own standalone game here. Warzone 2 is Warzone 2, its own game, its own executable file, untethered from Modern Warfare 2019 or potentially Modern Warfare 2 in 2022 here. That's something that 
man, it's about time we hear any discussion of this. But the part that may trip people up is that it's current gen and PC only, according to Tom. No past weapon integrations, it's its own standalone thing, a brand new clean slate, and if my theory were to stand, it'd be Modern Warfare 2 weapons only, just like Warzone whenever it launched in 2019, that spring leading up to the integration with Black Ops Cold War. And as a standalone, it allows it then to be a living, breathing game that will be, fingers crossed, meaning less issues overall in the long run and when we see things integrated and it certainly should mean that we don't see things bleeding over into any premium game that it's tethered to like how we saw recently with the integration for caldera and vanguard we saw things bleed over into modern warfare 2019 that were specific only to warzone make its way over into modern warfare mp things like your perk of tempered that gave two additional armor plates to multiplayer players that could equip it and if you didn't know there is no armor in modern warfare so you just doubled your health via a glitch using a perk that isn't for modern warfare mp so hopefully fingers crossed that those things don't actually happen anymore but the one thing that's also interesting to me and i'm sure to a lot of other people is that if there's no integrations here it's a fresh start that means that the content earned or purchased in the last three years up until that point of Warzone only will only be in Warzone. It won't transfer over into Warzone 2. Now, there is that possibility we see Modern Warfare 2 integration happen with Warzone 1, that initial base one that we have right now, in which case there may be some transferable things here at that, where your Modern Warfare 2 blueprints, operators, and things like that may transition over, but for Warzone 2, the future of that, that then seemingly means that we won't see any of our blueprints, operators, battle pass items, anything like that from Modern Warfare 2019 up until Vanguard here at this point. So that's something that I've seen a lot of discussion about, some concern about, whether it's legal even, if there's actually grounds to do that. And I'm no lawyer, attorney, or legal expert by any means, but this as a straight up sequel is kind of a way around that if you ask me. It's a new game, so just like how you can't bring DLC guns into the next premium game, you can't take Black Ops Cold War weapons and play around with them in Call of Duty Vanguard, that same principle then would apply, or at least that's how they would end up presenting it. But overall, what's that mean for gameplay? Well, honestly, there is no information given outside of the fact that this is actually going to be its own standalone game at this point, but that means that things like your engine, that's up in the air. If you were to ask me, I'd guess it's a continued use of the IW8 engine that started with Modern Warfare 2019. I would imagine it's going to be the same iteration of Modern Warfare 2 here in 2022. But then after that, if it's using that as its base and it's its own standalone game, it can then grow and adapt as time goes on. We can see fundamental changes. Now, when we talk about engine use though, it has been reported that we will start to see all of the developers in Call of Duty utilize the same engine as a base, but then split off with their own variations for their premium games. So you'll see things feel familiar but they may not exactly be the same and so it may start to be that initial deviation that we saw way back in the day with things like cod 4 and how we slowly start to break apart where one went one way and one went the other we could see that divide grow larger as time goes on but for the time being when everything is now focused around warzone utilizing the same base properties of the iw8 engine or whatever it may be here in the future that's something that we'll start to see that base, and that's what I'd imagine this Warzone 2 is based off of, wherever we are in that current developmental process at that point. Now, what that means for other things, I personally think this is when we're going to see the FOV slider. I hate to say that that is so far away still at this point, but given that they know that we want this as a community for console players, given that it's going to be next-gen only, there's really no excuse, if you ask me, or the way that I see it, to not have it at that point. So it is something we'll likely see that with Warzone 2, but this is something that, at the end of the day, Warzone 2 as a whole, as its own standalone thing, will allow for much more breathable room, allow for a lot more growth potential within the game itself, and it's not tethered or held down by Modern Warfare 2019's, by the time this happens, outdated gameplay mechanics and features. So it is something that we'll see this now sort of allow Warzone to expand even further, but it's a long time coming, man. I honestly kind of thought we'd be here already. I thought we'd end up seeing this happen sooner, but looks like 2023 at some point will have the next iteration of Warzone. My guess again, right around that anniversary time of Warzone. And that actually kind of makes a lot of sense if you ask me. We have rumored right now a new Rebirth Island style map coming at the anniversary here this year, a new map coming with Warzone and the launch of season one and the integration for Modern Warfare 2 to follow if all things still go according to plan. And then also a brand new Warzone Warzone 2, potentially utilizing the same map, but just being next-gen and PC only at that point. So 
There's still a lot of outstanding questions, but there is going to be plenty of time to look into them and likely to have more things come out from industry insiders in the very near future. So that said, that's where we're going to wrap it up. I would love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of this? Do you think Warzone 2 is finally going to be what we need here in regards to the Warzone community, the experience overall in Warzone? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. And of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing running all things Warzone, all things Van Vanguard, and maybe even COD Modern Warfare 2 here coming up in the near future. So if you're interested, hit that subscribe button. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.